Hi everyone, it's Miss Emily and welcome back to Sunday School at Home. Today we're going to continue with our autumn theme, talking about some fun things that we see in the autumn. Just like last week we talked about Thanksgiving and we had those pumpkins to help us understand our story. Today we're going to use some autumn leaves to help us. We're going to do that a little bit later because of for, first we're starting with our scripture memory verse of first Thessalonians 5.18. And today, again, I'm reading it from my Bible because I forgot to write it down this week to help myself practice and memorize. Did that happen to any of you guys? Did you forget to practice throughout the week? That can happen to us a lot. We get so busy doing other things that we forget sometimes what is most important. So don't worry about when you forget. When you do remember, Take the time to write something down. If it's your scripture memory verse, write it down and then say it out loud right then and there. And that will help you guys to memorize and it will help you to remember to do your scripture memory work during the week. So today I am going to be reading it from my ESV Bible and then I am gonna write it down on a card when I'm done and I'm gonna show you guys next week the card that I wrote it down on to help me memorize. So why don't you repeat it after me? First Thessalonians 5, 16 to 18. And it says, Rejoice always. Pray without ceasing. Give thanks in all circumstances. For this is the will of God in Christ Jesus for you. Great job, you guys. Let's go get started learning about autumn leaves. All right, to learn about leaves, we're gonna be opening up this book called Thoughts to Make Your Heart Sing by Sally Lloyd-Jones. And you might know that name because she also put together the Jesus Storybook Bible. And she helps us to understand about God and how much he loves us. And so I really enjoy this book and I found this great story about the autumn leaves. It says true colors. Did you know that leaves aren't really green? They only seem that way. Each leaf contains chlorophyll, the green color that captures light and turns it into food for the tree. It's this green that hides the leaf's true color. In the autumn, trees produce less chlorophyll the green fades, and so the leaves show their true colors, blazing reds, yellows, golds. The leaves were always those brilliant colors. You just couldn't see them. And the Bible says you can't see all you really are either. But one day, when God mends his broken world once and for all, you'll be all he made you to be. And then your true colors will come shining through. Isn't this so cool? I really enjoyed learning about chlorophyll and how it covers up the true colors of the leaves. This morning Ezra and I went to find a few leaves from a maple tree and you can see they've started to change colors. We have one that's kind of a red and yellowy with a little bit of orange and they're so beautiful. But like it said in our little story, leaves often look like this. They're just kind of green. The green covers up the true color. Now I really like this leaf because it shows the green is just starting to fade here. And look, the true yellow color is starting to show. We're gonna read another story to help us learn more about how Jesus shines through in us and what Jesus is really like, how shiny he is. So we're going to open up our Gospel Story Bible, this one. And we're going to open it up to a story called The Transfiguration. When Jesus told the disciples that he must suffer and die and then would be raised from the dead, the disciples did not understand what Jesus was talking about. Jesus also told them, Some of you who are standing here will not die before you see the kingdom of God as it comes with power. The disciples didn't understand that either. 
But about a week later, Jesus took Peter, James, and John up onto a high mountain and gave them a taste of the power and the glory of the kingdom that was coming. There on the mountain, Jesus was suddenly transformed from a normal looking man, revealing the brightness of his glory. His face shone like the sun and his clothes were as dazzling white as light. All of a sudden, Elijah and Moses appeared out of nowhere and began to talk with Jesus. Peter, James, and John's, John were terrified. No one had ever seen anything like this before. Then a cloud drifted down and surrounded them. They heard a voice from inside the cloud saying, This is my beloved son. Listen to him. When the disciples heard God's voice, because that's who it was, they fell down with their faces on the ground to worship God. Then Jesus came over to them, touched them, and told them to get up. When they did, no one was there but Jesus. On their way down the mountain, Jesus told them, Don't tell anyone what you have seen until I have risen from the dead. The three disciples kept it to themselves, but they still wondered what Jesus meant by being raised from the dead. They asked Jesus why the religious leaders taught that Elijah had to come first, before the Messiah. Jesus answered, Elijah does come first to make things ready, and Elijah has already come, and he has suffered just as the Son of Man, one of the names Jesus called himself, is going to suffer. That is when they realized that John the Baptist was the Elijah that Jesus was talking about. Can you imagine what it must have been like to see Jesus radiant in glory, shining like the sun in dazzling white? For just a few moments, the three disciples had that chance. They got a glimpse of the holiness, glory, and power of Jesus as God. Something no one had seen outside heaven. No wonder they were terrified. They knew Jesus, the man who did and said extraordinary things. But nothing could really prepare them to see Jesus, the Son of God, shining with heavenly glory. And yet the transfiguration the disciples saw was only a tiny hint of the power Jesus would show in his resurrection. That is when his words about the kingdom of God coming in power would come true. What a great story. I love hearing how Jesus was so bright. The true glory of Jesus was able to shine for a moment even when he was here on earth. And people even got to see it. That must have been so amazing for James and John and Peter to get to see Jesus as he truly is when he is in heaven and he is just glowing and giving off so much light and glory and goodness. How awesome. Now here is something else that's awesome. I have a verse from my Bible from 2 Corinthians and it talks about how Jesus is making us to become like him. So this comes from 2 Corinthians 3.18 and it says, And we all with unveiled, ha unveiled face Beholding the glory of the Lord are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. This is a great verse and it also helps us to look at our leaves and think about ourselves. Here we have four different leaves. And if I was going to pick a leaf for myself, which one do you think it is? Am I this leaf who's totally green? Maybe this one who's just changing a little bit or one of these ones who has a lot of color? If I think about my walk with Jesus, I've been a Christian for almost 20 years and I serve at church and I teach my kids about Jesus at home. And you know what leaf I would pick? It wouldn't be this green one because Jesus has come to live in my heart. So he's already starting to change me. I'm gonna put that one to the side. It also wouldn't be one of these leaves 
because they're fully changed. If I was going to pick a leaf for myself, it would be this one. You might be surprised. I've been a Christian for quite a while and this leaf is really green still. But like it talks about in our verse, I'm going to read it for you again. We are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another. So it means slowly God is changing us to become like him. And the more I learn about God, the more I realize I have so much more green in my life that he is going to transform for me through the Holy Spirit, just like it talks about here. For this comes from the Lord who is the Spirit. So someday we will get to be one of these beautiful transformed leaves, similar to this. But it's not going to be until we are reunited with Jesus in heaven because we do still sin. But one of the greatest things is that he's slowly making us see that yellow there to become more like him. And Jesus is similar to this leaf, except even better. This leaf still has actually some imperfections, a few brown dots and a little hole. But Jesus, if he was a leaf, would be so perfect and not just yellow, but shining out with a bright light. So this is really fun. Interesting how we can learn about Jesus and compare things from the world to help us understand him better. Really cool. So today for our craft, we're going to draw a leaf picture and we're going to draw a lot of it green, but we're going to draw how some of the color is showing through. When our sins start to get washed away, the green represents our sinfulness. But Jesus slowly starts to wash it away from us and our true color starts to show through. That true color is the Holy Spirit working in us, the goodness that God has given us, and it can only show when the Holy Spirit starts to wash it away. Let's go get started on our craft. All right, everybody, I hope you've got your marker or pencil and we're gonna get started on drawing a beautiful maple leaf, which are usually very tricky to draw. So I'm gonna keep my maple leaf here and we're gonna do our best to copy the same shape of the leaf. So open up your marker if you have one or with your pencil and you're gonna spread your fingers out like this. Then I want you to just turn your hand slightly so that your top two fingers are even. Can you guys do that? And up closer to the top part of your page. Next, we're going to put a dot beside our pointer finger and just down a little bit on our pinky finger. Then we're gonna go right in between these two fingers, go up a little bit and make a dot there. So we have sort of this triangle near the top and that's going to be for these top three points. Then you guys can see right here how the leaf makes a V shape. So we're going to have a look. We're going to go around a little bit and just down here we're going to make sort of a V shape that goes mm, sort of like a corner. Then we're going to do another one right across from it. Try to space them out evenly. You can use, oh, use two fingers in between or three um, depending how big your fingers are and we're going to make another V shape just like that. Then we're going to extend these lines but not all the way over. We're going to extend them just a little closer and a little bit up and away. So there we go. Same with these ones. We're going to extend them up just a little bit. Now we're going to make some V shapes down below here. So we're going to do sort of an upside down V shape. And instead of our lines being straight with the bottom, we don't want to make our V straight here so it looks like these connect. We're going to angle it out. So we come in, it's a little bit of a sharper V. And try to make then these two even with this dot. So we're going to do the same over here, use three this time. And so don't come straight up, come in on a bit more of an angle and then back out. Now I'm seeing that my dot is not very even in the middle, so I'm just going to make a new dot that looks 
like it's in the middle of these two lines and out a little bit farther. And you guys can do that for yours if you need to. Then all we have to do is connect our dot to our lines with a J shape. So starting at the top, we're gonna to do a regular J shape that comes down and up. Then we're going to do a backwards J shape over here where we come down and up. Then over this way, we're gonna do another J shape, but it's gonna be a bit sideways. And the same here. And look, we can cover up that dot with our J. Then we're gonna do the same here, sideways, backwards J, and then a sideways, regular J. Now when we get to the bottom here, we're going to make a straight line in. We're gonna be coming towards a dot in the middle. So you can make a dot right here. It's kind of in line with these bottom ones. And that's where our stem's gonna come down. Let's do that now. If we make two lines, very close together because the stem is so thin. So you're gonna make a little line that comes up, but then it's gonna do a little V and go back. So it comes up and then it V's just a little tiny bit and then in to connect with that dot. Then we're gonna come up and then come down just a little with a V shape and then back to connect. And here's our maple leaf. Now my maple leaf looks kind of squished, but that's okay, maple leaves are hard to draw. So I'm pretty happy with how that turned out. Now we're going to do our letters over here. And remember that our leaf represented how we are being transformed to become more like Jesus. So we're going to write, we are being transformed. So right up at the top, we, W, E. Next down, R, A, R, E. Being, right here, B, E, I, N, G. Can you guys hear all that rain outside? All those pitter patter are raindrops on our window today. So we are being, now we have a big word, transformed. We're gonna start really close over here so we have enough space. T, R, A, N, S, F, O, R, M, E, D. We are being transformed. And even though it doesn't say exactly those words, remember we've taken it here from 2 Corinthians, from number three, chapter three, which starts here and continues, and it's this verse, 18. And we all, with unveiled face, beholding the glory of the Lord, are being transformed into the same image from one degree of glory to another, for this comes from the Lord, who is the Spirit. So it says we, at the beginning, we all are being transformed. So we're gonna put that down here at the bottom, so that if someone is wondering, well, what are you being transformed into? They can look it up in the Bible and then they can see the whole verse there. So 2 Corinthians, we put a two and then we put C-O-R for Corinthians. C-O-R. So that's just a short form. Then we put the chapter number first, which was chapter three, and then two little dots and verse 18. So this is how we write out our Bible verses. This is sometimes the book number, 2 Corinthians. There's also a 1 Corinthians, chapter three, verse 18. And it talks how we are being transformed to be like Jesus. Now we are going to color in our leaf to represent how Jesus is transforming us to become more like him. And today I finally did sharpen my pencils, so hopefully I won't run out. 
and we're going to start with our green and you can decide I'm just going to have a little sliver like that leaf I showed you that has just a little bit of yellow showing so I'm going to actually make sort of a squiggly line here and this little section is going to show how Jesus is transforming me to become more like him and then the rest over here is going to be green and Brian and I were talking about explaining to you guys how the green is sort of like our sin but we also want to remember that when Christ Jesus comes to live in our hearts when we say God please forgive us from our sins Jesus I believe in you that our sin has already totally been paid for even though we do sometimes still sin so even though we still look kind of green we do still end up sinning the truth is there Jesus has taken away all of our sin for us even sins that we have not yet done and he is making us to become more like him so now you guys can start coloring in this part green and we'll keep talking as we color along so what does it mean to become more like Jesus how do we find out to become more like Jesus does it just sort of magically happen well when we read our Bible we see what Jesus was like and then we can see how God is bringing those changes into our life it's great that we have the Bible to learn from because it can help show us how to be like Jesus Jesus was a servant he served other people he put them first Jesus was filled with love we can love others the way he loved us by loving everyone not just people you like not just people who love you back and you can see in the Bible Jesus even talks about loving your enemies and praying for them that would be impossible without Jesus living in our hearts in part of the Bible it talks about the fruits of the Spirit and we've talked about that before having peace patience, love, kindness, goodness, faithfulness, self-control, those all show how we can be more like Jesus and how he is transforming us to become more like him. And the thing is, the more we read our Bible, the more we see what Jesus was like, and the more we end up seeing that our own life is only transformed just a little bit at a time but thankfully one day we will be fully transformed into the way God had always intended us to be to be beautiful and filled with light to love others so fill in your your little white space that you've left here you can use a lovely bright yellow or red I'm going to do a bit of orange and then I'm also going to add some yellow along with it because I like those leaves that are kind of yellow and orange together And someday we will be like the fully changed leaf which is so wonderful so don't forget to post this up somewhere in your home so you can see it throughout the week and also don't forget to write down that scripture memory verse of first Thessalonians 5 16 to 18 to help you memorize it this week I'm gonna go do that now and I'm also gonna put this up in my on my fridge to remind me that God is continually transforming me to become more like him now that we're finished our leaf craft make sure you guys post that up somewhere and tell your parents about why we did a leaf today if they haven't seen the episode with you you can explain to them how slowly God is transforming us to become more like him. Let's take a minute to pray together before we go. Jesus, we thank you so much that you died in our place 
and that your resurrection means that we no longer have to pay for our sin with death. We thank you that you are holy and beautiful and filled with glory. And we thank you that your Holy Spirit is transforming us to become more like you. We praise you, God, for what you have done. Amen. I'm so glad you guys joined me today to learn more about Jesus together. I'm excited to see you guys again next week. Bye.